as you all know, Piranha Plant is a character from Mario. Of course, anyone who is not living under a rock knows that. I decided to tell you guys that because there are some people who are living under a rock and don't know what Piranha Plant is. Piranha Plant is a character from Mario and appears in most Mario games and for some reason appears in Smash Brothers. I don't know why, but he just does appear in Smash Bros. He's, even, he's listed as an official fighter and now and he's a, considered a DLC character. I can't wait till um, Goomba is playable. That, that character will instantly be top tier for everybody. Top tier. Goomba, top tier. But Piranha Plant is also known as Pokemon Power Plant in Japan. Yes, he did know that. Oh, wait. But who is the real Piranha Plant? Piranha Plant is a plant, unsurprisingly. That's based off the Venus Pie Traps and eats anything that approaches them. Piranha Plants are either red or green or multiple other colors. They are found exclusively during pipes, but now are found by anything nearby and are found both in and out of pipes. They constantly bite away from our other approach to do so. Despite being plants, they appear being sentient, and other plants like P.D. Piranha, Piranha being a dino Piranha, reveal that they have animal-like bodies, and are capable of walking. However, relatives of Piranha plants, zipper plants, are implied to have a different reproduction because they use spores instead of normal Piranha plants. Of course, they are a common enemy in practically every Mario game. No surprise there. In every Mario game, they're always an enemy. But for some reason, in Smash Ultimate, he's a playable character. Like, Piranha Plant is, in, is even an item in Mario Kart as well. And in every Mario game, Piranha Plant is usually an enemy. <laughs> there are other plants, Piranha Plants like PD Piranha, which are actually playable. I don't know why I didn't put PD Piranha as a playable character, but... But then, Piranha Plant was revealed for Smash Brothers. And there we go. All the memes of Piranha Plant are now here. Piranha Plant was a character nobody was expecting to appear in Smash Brothers. People were convinced that it was going to be Xeno or some character that everybody has been requesting because of trends. But Sakurai, he's a tricky guy. You can't predict him. That's probably why he put Piranha Plant in the first place. He probably, and there were no weeks for Piranha Plant. No one was weaking this. No way. They kept it literally underneath. It was actually one week, but it was I had like two views. And people thought it was a joke, but Piranha Plant, people wanted um, Zeno or Isaac, and they were, people were all disappointed that all, that all these most wanted characters people were expecting to see did not appear in the game. But you know who did? Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant basically spread because of Smash of Nintendo themselves. Piranha Plant spreaded everywhere in the Smash community even faster than Wild Weezy, which means Piranha Plant Piranha Plant had an in interest before because he was just a common enemy in Mario and nobody would really cared. But then Smash Bros came out and it just became popular there. And Piranha Plant is now considered one of the worst characters in Smash Brothers because they nerfed him. They did. They nerfed Piranha Plant. So that's basically who is the real Piranha Plant. This is a short video because Piranha Plant is just a common enemy, but we had to explain about him being in Smash Brothers. Now he is he he is now a character in Smash Brothers that everybody accepts as a playable character and Everybody now accepts Piranha Plant as a playable character. And the turn and a lot of people played Piranha Plant where he came out as DLC. And basically that's it. Goodbye.